Welcome to our second part of this video where we are creating a responsive e-commerce website using React JavaScript and Bootstrap 5. In our last video, we were able to create this home page where we added the, this banner section, the featured products, repair services, the new arrivals, the hot deals, and also a blog page. You are also able to create a header and a footer where we added the newsletter. In today's video, we'll be able to create the shop page and also to make a responsive cart where a user is able to add items to cart and also remove items from cart. If you haven't watched the first part of the video, the video link is in the description. Also the codes, the codes are in my GitHub. I've also posted the link in the description. So leave a like and also remember to subscribe so in our last video we created this components folder and also this pages folder and in this components folder we are able to add the detail, the components which will be reusing over and over again and also the pages that's where we added our routes which are the home page the login page and all that so before we start today creating the home page, I've created um, JavaScript, which are the functions. And in these functions, I've, I've created a shop context. And first I've created a default cart where the items in the cart are zero. And also I've created functions to get the total amount of items in the cart like the total cart amount and also the total products in the also added a function to add items to cart remove to cart update the cart amount and also clear cart and all these functions so i'll be posting this in my github you'll get these functions and also i'll be creating this as a separate video on how to create a responsive cart page so for now i'll be showing you how you can create this page so as you can see my show page is empty so the first thing i'm going to do here is to come to the show page and i'm going to remove this first and then i want to add the banner section which is the which is this part over here so i'll come to the home page i had that in the home page where we have the repair section here i'll copy this then paste it here let me see if you have it yeah we have it and then i'll come to the css i'll open it to the side here i'm going to change this from repair to shock banner And then I'm going to give this banner details. Oh, it can remain like that, repair details. So I'm going to come to where I wrote the CSS for the repair. Here it is. Then I'm going to copy that. Comment here, that shop, shop starts. then shop ends i'm going to copy paste it here then change this to shop banner let's see that works and then i want to know which image i used so i'll just inspect i used the b1 
how you have it and then i'll remove this button because i don't need the button and then i want this to i'll put this cards then i'll put them here then justify content to the center let's see mm -hmm. control justify content The, let me see can remove this one here and then have this h2 I'll do it in a div but I wanted to say a hundred percent off on all products so remove this on and then a hundred percent off on all products yeah that's better and then i'll add another div and here i'll add a p tag make your orders okay. and then i'll give it a class name text to be white have it there and then let me see can do margin top to be four or instead you can just do my margin all over yeah mm -hmm. let me see repair details text center let me remove this from here and then i can add a line items to center let me see We have it, but yeah. each one looks better. But I want them to be in the center. Let me remove this. I think we need it. Then we can just do. Yeah, so we have the we have the banner section. So the next thing we're going to add below here is the, now the cut products. And for this, I'm going to create two components. And the first component is going to be the one that is taking the cards for the product. So I'll name it product dsx and for this product first remove this here i'll first do the let me show you in our featured products we are using product.image product.name so to avoid doing that i'll come here and create a constant constants which are id name and then i'm getting all this from the product we created two arrays products and products one where we 
created all the arrays for our images and all our products all our images and all the details for the products so i give them id image name price brand those are the ones i'll be using here so it will be id name image then price and then brand and all of these will get them from props All of this will get them from props dot data. Then I'll do props here. Let's see. Yeah. And then I'll come to the I'll first import the shop context. I've told you I've created the this function and I've exported it shop context. So I'll come to the app.jsx where we have our routes and all all the routes I'm going to enclose them in our shop context. So first I'm going to import the shop context. Yeah. And then I'm going to enclose all this in our shop context. So that even if someone is in the about page and the cat has two products, it won't, it won't affect anything. I have an error. Let me see. Saying render two is not a function. Where do we get in this from? Code step error render two is not a function. Let me have the shop context. I think the error is coming from I'm not supposed to enclose this here. Let me see. Yeah. I fixed the error so by adding this shop context anytime um if i add items from the shop page and then i switch the routes to the about page it won't affect like the functions and that the cat value doesn't change because you might come to the home page add an item to cut and then go to the about page and then the value like resets itself so by adding the shop context to all the routes, it prevents it from doing that. So I've first imported the shop context. Then I'll come here and then also import it. I'll import the shop context. Yeah. And then here, I'll first create a column three column 3 where I'll be putting the products and in this column 3 I want to create a I want to add all of them in a card and in this card I want to know up here in the column 3 I want the key to be product dot id product you have the key to be id and then inside here i'll i'll be having the first i'll have the image i'll have the image and this image will be using the image for that certain id if it's id1 we use the image for the one if it's id2 and so on and so on so here i'll give them a class name of img fluid first and then card img top let me see 
no we are not supposed to see anything yet and then i'll be adding the card details but i want us to be able to see this so i told you i'll be creating two components this product and then the other component i'm going to create is the one that will be calling this pro product card from this component component so let me show you what i'm talking about i'll create a um, shop items dot jsx and in this component i'm going to i'm going to import the prod this prod component i'm going to import it yeah and then i'm also going to import our array of products I'm going to import I'm going to import the products and also the product one and here i'm going to create a, a row div and in this row div i'm going to map our products so it's going to be in our products array in our products array and also in our product one we are going to do the dot map dot map going to map this into product and then we're going to get this from the prod and then the key let me first do that the key will be products dot id and also the data will be equal to products then i'm going to call this component from the shop page and here i'm going to add a, another section section dots shop product and then i'm going to give it a padding of five and also a container and then arrow and inside here i'm going to call the shop con shop items component first i import it items let me put it here shop items let's see as you can see we have all our products all our product images from the products array so the next thing let me close the number I'll close the products array, the home page, and also I'm not going to use the shop context again. I'm done with it. So now we are here in the prod component. So I want to have a H2 of this H2 will have the name. You see? Yeah. But I can change this to H5, not H2. It's in. Yeah. And then before this, I'm going to create a, I think a span. And in this one, we'll have the, we'll have the brand, brand name. Yeah. And then. I 
I can in this card details I can give them a padding of four. Yeah, a padding of three. And then in this pan I can give it a class name. No, in the H5. I can give it a margin of Y to be three. So that it gives it margin top and margin bottom. And then what's the next thing? Let me see. You have the brand title. We have these stars. So I'm going to get these stars from React rating stars. And then I'm going to first add another terminal. Then I'm going to copy this so that it installs the React rating stars component. Then open the link. It has already installed. So I'll come here and copy the I'm going to copy this import react rating stars component and then I want to use this copy then I'll come and paste it here and I want to I don't want to have this on change I want to edit the edit to be none and then I want the value to be four let me see i'm getting an error control saying that the above error occurred in the products component let's see id name image price brand Let me remove this. So that's where the air is coming from. First. We have the rating stars. So don't want I used to be able to edit them. Let me first change the color. I'll be using this color. So let me copy. use that color or we can use yeah, that's better I don't want the rating stats to be editable so I'll change the thing let me see edit to be false Yeah, now one cannot edit. Then I'll add the 
what else the price below here I'll add a p tag and I'll do a class name of price and then I'll do the price I'll have it and then I'll add another spawn and in this point I want to do a strike and inside this strike I want to do price multiplied by 2 yeah we have that then in this one I can add a class name of text to be danger yeah and then in between here I can do nbsp yeah and then in this Price, I want you to have a color of green, so I'll just do the dot price to be color. I'll be using this, yeah, on the green color. Now, what's remaining is there this section. So, below here, I'll add a, a div. In this div, I want to do display to be flex. Then align items to be center. And then, yeah, that. And then I'll add a, a button. This button will be view details I have it and then I'll have another button which is add to cut you can do that then align items justify content to be around yeah like that and then in this price I can do margin bottom of three and then in this div I can do margin bottom of two so here I want the this button to have an on click an on click function and in this on click function I want to have the let me come to the components where I did the function and you can see I have a A view product details so I'll come back here and here I'll do const which will be view I can just copy it from here view product details copy request to use context to be shop context yeah so this one click will have group product details 
we have an error console it's saying cannot destructure view products of use context as it is undefined let me see I think here, oh, I have a, I'm not supposed to put this in this, and have this import shop context shop, I'm supposed to do the, I'm supposed to remove this, I'm not using that, I'm using the shop context with the character S, yeah, this one, you see. We still get no we don't have the error yeah so the view details is supposed to take us to view product details and then i'll also add the add to cart add to cart function yeah add to cart function and then i'll add it here inside here so you'll have a uh, an on click event and this one people will have the add to cut then here i'll have the i want to anytime i add to cut it has this value one two three that one so i'll come here for and then I'll create a constant which is count which will be equal to here I'm supposed to do the ID and also here I'm supposed to do ID the cut item count will have the cut items cut items id then let me see it's supposed to import it cut items from the shop context cut items yeah and then here below the add to cut i'll add this cut item count is greater than zero do let me see the dollar sign yeah then cut item count Then I can add this in getting an error let me see cut items cut supposed to be cut items cut items is not defined cut items id change it cut items let me see. We still to fresh. Still getting the error. Cut items is not a function. Let me see. I'm supposed to enclose them in this. Cut items ID. See if it still no. Don't have the error. So if I add to cut, you can see that 
the value is changing so i'll style these buttons so in this buttons this first button i'm going to add a class name the class name is going to be view view button i'm going to style it dot view button we don't want to have any styling so i'll have background to be transparent yeah and then on the color to be actually we can change it to instead of using the button we can do a link let's see yeah we have it so in case we tap the view details it takes us to the view cut details so i'll just remove this class name but you can do the hover transition to be 0 0.5 seconds is and then you can do dot view button hover have a color of such this one so let's see yeah and now we want to sell this button give it a class name of add btn i'll come here and do it add btn want to uh, want to have a border radius of 10 pixels and then have a background color of I want to use the primary color this one and then the text let's see if the text is white yeah then we want to have zero Buddha Buddha to be none yeah like that so we can do padding of 12 pixels and 10 pixels we refresh and that one is better but to prevent them from like consuming each other space we can add this in a in its column and then we can add this also in a column yeah let's see then in these columns we can align items to center so let me see we can take these class names
can take these class names this display flex then add them here and then also and also here yeah now that's better so now what you're going to do is to sell these ads I'm going to come to the featured products and then i'm going to copy this all of this copy then i'm going to paste it here and i'm going to change from featured products to think shop product let me see shop page we have the yeah show products I'm going to change this to shop products shop products let's see it changes that I want the image let's see if I add it in a padding two yeah that's better and then I want to have a margin bottom of three we can do a margin bottom of four yeah so then we have created the shop page added all the products but first I'm going to change the size so let me come to the what was it not the feature but the new products actually i'll use this copy and then instead of i'll put it here then change this to so products let's see yeah that's better you have all of them aligned perfectly so i'll give this two and then also this one Margin Y of two. Think that better view details add to cut. So the next thing we are going to add here is the we are finished with the products. So we are going to now add a pagination in the show page. So below here, I'm going to create another section. In this section, I'm going to call it pagination. Pagination. I'm going to give it a padding of three. So the container. I'm going to add a row. And in this row, I want the items to be in display flex align items to be center align items center and then justify content to be center going to come to the bootstrap 5 in this pagination i want to use this so i'll just copy it then paste it here Let me see. 
we have it here mm, display flex line item center I think I'll give it a column six. Let me see. No, 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 no. Column twelve. I want to align the items to center. Let me copy. We have it there so i'll come to the styles and pagination and then i'm going to give them a padding of 10 pixels which is the let me see the li And then I'm going to give them a font size 14 pixels and do 16. And then also the A tags. Yeah, and then a color. color of this one not not that I want to do the li dot pagination a tags yeah that's better so we are done with the home page the show page that is we're able to add to cart to add the items to cart and then I want to if a person clicks the button it should it should change to a certain color so that someone will know they have added that item to cut so to be able to do that i'm going to come to the button in the third component and then here I, in the add to cut button i'm going to add uh, an event dot toggle dot class list event dot target target dot class list dot toggle to be To be red the class list and then why am i getting an error let me see unexpected token add to cut event dot target dot class list let me see I'm still getting the same error 
let me see how I can fix it. Oh, so I I will do this. I'll remove this closing bracket from there to down here. And then I'm going to also add these two functions inside this. Yeah, I think that should solve the issue. Let's see. Now I'm going to create a, a cell for the red, which is color to be let's see if it works still doesn't work but we'll fix it later so now we have the working show page the next thing we'll do here is to add a cut so that anytime i click there add to cut it shows in the cut page so here i'll do this first close this one and also the show page and then also i'll come to the components and create a cut items component dot jsx and inside here let me remove this first Inside here, I want to be able to add items in the cut, like to show the cut items in the cut page. So I want to be able to see my added to cut items in our cut page. So here, I'll do the same. I'll come here and give this a props, actually. And then I I will copy the this this constants the two of this and then I'll copy them here and I want to be able to see the cut items so I'll come to the cut page in our cut to the and then here I'll remove this first i'll import our product array import our products and also products one and here we we'll use the same we used in the show items so i'll just copy this copy and then add it in the cut but here i want to do this inside here let me first import the import cut items and then i'll change this to cut items here I want to do this if the cut items equal to zero I'm going to return 
if the cut items not equal to zero let me see i'm going to let me see if the cut items product dot id is not equal to zero i'm going to return this the cut items product dot id i'm getting an error unexpected token alt nine eight which is cut items I'll add this, the two of this. Actually, I'm supposed to change this to this. And then here, yeah, the same thing. Yeah, and then, and then I'm going to take this inside here. So anytime the ID is not equal to zero, he's going to return the cut items. Yeah. Here I'm getting an error. Let me see where the error is coming from. Saying that cut items is not defined. We have it somewhere. No, no, no. I'm going to copy this also copy this copy then i'll i'll paste them here it's supposed to fix the error still getting the error props is not defined let's see if we have the error Saying cannot destructure property ID of props to data as it is undefined. You have props. Actually, I don't think I need this. Now I see. Use context is not defined, so I'll import it here from React. Use context. Then shop context is now defined. I'll import it. Import shop context. We have fixed the errors. We can come back to our codes and then in the shop items the shop items sorry in the cut items i want to be able to show the items added to cut so here i'll have a container now let me see first i want them to be in a table so first i'll create a section dot cut item and then i'll give it a p of five And then I'll give it a container XXL and then I'll give it a row and I want them to be in a table so I'll do that and then I want T heads to be TH1 to be product product image the next one is product details details then we have th it will be edit then we'll have another th which will be coupon coupons yeah let me see then i'll have table inside here i'll have a 
table row and in this first in this table row we have table data here we will have img and the img will have the src image i think inside here we can do the key to be a product the key to be id let's see and then i'll give this a class name of img to be fluid and then we'll have another table data this table data will have p tags which will have the the brand we'll have another p tag which will have the name we also have another p tag which will include the price yeah and then let me see if i add anything it will show in the cut we're getting errors let's see use context is not defined okay we'll import it from here actually we'll just copy this no let me just import it use context and then i'll also import the shop context let's see so you can see in our terminal in our console we have products from product 0 to product 24 so let's see if i add to cut if it it will show in the cut page yeah we have the image this and also we have the product details now i want to do the edit section first I'll table row table data yeah then you have another td which here will have two buttons and here we'll have the i want to find the count handler let me see if we have it count handler yeah badges i don't want that one input instead i'll just come here then first i'll create a button and that button will have an on click actually i should copy it from the home page the show page that is not the show page what was it i think the product we had the this one button yeah copy and then paste it here and i don't want this so here i'll just add a plus sign then i don't want this so let me see come to the shop page then add a different item we have the button there yeah and then i'll just copy this and paste it again but here we'll have the remove 
chromecart function which is remove to cut yeah so i'll come here and import it remove remove to cut then here it will be remove to cut then this will be a minus sign let me see it works it removes the item from cut if i add it let's see we have seven here so inside between here i'll add an input field and in this input field we'll have a type to be text but i'll add an on change so on the value first to be cut items id and then i want to have an on change event in this on change we'll have an event and then this on change will have this where is it update item count we had this i created this function update item count think it's here so i'll paste it here and then i'll import it here also and then update item count have a number be a number yeah and then event do status do value here we'll have a comment there id let's see if we can change this let's see add to cut items let me see yeah we have it and I want to add another table data and in this table data we'll have the coupon section so i'll just come here and then find an input field i'll be using this one copy i'll paste it here always make sure your input fields are self-closing then change all the class class names let me see I change this to class names then here i'll be i'll give it such such and then i can come to styling so here i'll do a com comment and then i'll do car start and then i'll do cut ends here i'll do the input first to be to have a, a padding of 12 pixels and then i want the everything to take a certain column so let's see dot column three if it will work tab yeah you have the product image using column three columns on the product details to use also three columns so here 
I'll do a column three. Add it there. We can do column four instead. Let me inspect. Have this table that I'm taking. Yeah, I know why. Needs to end of doing that. You can do a class name here and then do column three. Yeah, and then also here we'll do class name of column three. Inside this table, you can do class name display flex justify content to be around let's see let's first remove that it's like it's affecting but want it to be here class name display to be flex justify content to be bit around that is around now we have the product details edit coupons column 3 can also do this here class name of column 3 Product image here. and then class name column 3. Then the edit will have a class name of column 4. And then this one, the coupons will have a column of We can give them three three each. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Now we have that product image, product details. We have the edit section. Also, you have the coupon section, but this image is so big. We can do in the table head. Let's give them a margin bottom of three. And, and then in this image, can come to the cut and then do the cut item dot cut item img will have a maximum maximum width of 100 percent then the height to be let's say 50 pixels let's see how that looks like we can do 100 pixels 100 pixels that is yeah and then we can give them a border radius 20 pixels let's see that that looks better we have product image product details we have the edit section of the coupon section in this dot cut items t head we can do a font size a font size of let's say 16 pixels yeah and then we can
let me see class name can do padding of four this set it doesn't change that okay can remove that first the product details have the edit have the coupons let me change that placeholder enter coupon code you have that have the edit in this tibodi tibodi you can do a background of this color let's see yeah we have that and then i'll make sure i add a class name here for bottom margin bottom to be three so that's let me see if i add another item if i add another item it's doing that and it's not supposed to do that let me see I want them to follow each other like that. Let me see what I can do. Can take this this table head cut and then come to the come to the shop page the cut page that is and then i can add it here let me see yeah you have that so in case i remove this i remove this and i remove Yeah, we have that so then i'll put it inside here to head i like the t head but the a table a table and then let me add to cut Control X supposed to be here. You have the product image, product details, you have the edit and you have the coupons. Mm -hmm. Can do margin Y of two. Let's see table T head. I can do this instead. Inside the cut, we have the table, we have the T head. I'll create a, a table body so that I can fix that error. Then I'll paste this inside here in the table body. And then I'll come here and remove the remove this.
remove that and also remove this let me see and we have that and then I think I'll also remove this here cut and then I'll paste it here then I'll do a div and I'll do a div I'll do that wait to have one two three two divs then i'll change this to section yeah let me see have a unexpected closing tag for in the cut items Come and delete this. I think that will work. Getting an error. Let's see. ID is not defined in cart dot JSX. Where products dot ID. Okay, let me copy this. Then paste it here. Then change this to props. Props. Yeah. Let's see. Getting an error. Cannot distract property ID of props as it is undefined mm -hmm. or we can do this we can remove the ID from there then come to the cut items and then I'll add all these control J so next, I'll add all this now. In a div, and here we'll have the key to be ID. Yeah, that's better. So let me see. Add to cut. Don't know why they are doing that. Let's see. If I remove this, To fix this issue, I'll remove this T body from here, and then I'll come to the cut items so where I've created the div, and then I'll change this to T body. Oops, it is shook. Then let me see if I add more products, add to cut, if it changes anything. Yeah, we have that. We have the. Yeah, that's better. We can come below here. Mm -hmm. Instead of the T body, we can do the whole.
the whole cart item to be that color cart item and then we can do the t body to have the background of white let's see at least we have that and then i'll come here and then the t body should have a padding from everywhere of 20 pixels let me see mm -hmm. it doesn't change can do this t body then here inside this image can give it a margin bottom of three yeah margin bottom of three and then below here i can do i chart so yeah let me see can do this dot dot mb to b3 then i can come here and remove this let's see first can do the table data table row and this table data you can do class name of we can add it where it was So we have that, we have the image and also we have the product details and also we have the this section. So I'm going to sell each and everyone, every one of the items. So here I'm going to add a div and in this div I'm going to give a padding of two. Yeah, let me come here and see, I have the image, I have the details product brand price okay let me come here and i can do the same here so i'll do product product brand we have that yes and then we have product name and which I want this to be a H1 we can do a H5 not a H1 H5 yeah I have the product name product brand I have the product price and 
and then then we can give this a class name. No? Can do a span. Span dot. Let me see. I had created a prizer dot prize. And then I'll add that there. Have it as a screen. Then I can do that to all this class name price. Then you can also do this here to x span dot price. Yeah, and then we can. I'll be adding later on items in stock. So here I'll do items in stock. I can do span dot text danger can do a thousand. Yeah. So we have that we have the product brand, we have the product name, products price and also the items in stock. So the next thing here we'll do is to style the input field. It will have a padding of 12 pixels. And then our width of let me see. can do 30 pixels or so 50 pixels. Yeah, and then we'll do the dot cut item button do the background to be transparent and also you can do a padding of six pixels Yeah, and then can do border to be one pixel solid. We can do text. We can do color. Color to be black. Yeah, here you can do think time, then it's better. And then you can do a margin. Actually, you're supposed to come here and add this directly. So just do margin X of two. Yeah, so you have the edit button, have that, and then inside this input, I want to have a color, a color of this, and then we can do a bold, we can do font size to be 16 pixels. Okay. Yeah, then you can do a photo. It can do a font weight of thing 600, 600. Yeah, so you have that. Then you can do the cut item button to also have a font size of 14 pixels. Plus of the minus, yeah. Have the coupon. I want to change this pan into a button. Then I'll do dot input group button.
border to be none. Have the search. We can do one pixel solid and then the color to be darken. The three. Mm -hmm. That's light. Light. Yeah, at least that's better. So we, we have created this product details. Every time I add an item to cut and you can also remove, you can see that it's working properly. So the next thing I'll be adding here is the section where we have the total price, this one, where we have the this continue shopping and also the total price. So I'll come back to my cut and then below this cut item, maybe inside it, I can create another section. We can do a div dot. Cut total and here I want to display flex justify content to be between yeah and then I'll have a column six two column six and in this one i'll have a button this first button i'll have i'll do continue continue shopping let's see let me add some items cut have this continue shopping and i'll also add another This should be in here. I'll add another column six. And in this column six, we'll have a uh, H3 of total. Or we can, let's see. We can remove this column. This divs. So you have that continue shopping and you have this total button. So here I'll do margin top of four. Yeah. Then I'll also do a padding of three. Have we? Yeah. So here I want to display the the total price of the the total items in the the total price of the card items. And here I'll do a HR. Let's see. Yeah. And here I'll add a class name of margin one to be three. We can do margin top of three. It's not working. In my shop context functions, I have created this function as the get total cut product. No, the get total cut amount. So here I'll come to the cut and I'll import it here get 
transparency get total cut amount copy then i'll import it and then i'll create a constant for it separately so i'll just do this dot cut const which is total total amount will be equals to that so here i'll do a p tag which will use the color green and then i'll do i'll start with the dollar sign and then do total total amount if we'll have it Page shop add to cut cut mm -hmm. let me see actually i'm supposed to let me first do this add this in a column 6 as I had done before or in a div in a div and then I'll also add this in a div Let's see. and then you have the total amount to be get total cut amount so here I'll do a p dollar sign and then total amount it's not showing the value let me see I think I, I have an error console mm -hmm. I think I'm supposed to make it a function let me see now it's saying the total is zero let's see add to cut add to cut now we have that can come here and give it a class name of price so that it is in crane yeah so we also have the total and i'll also do a margin bottom of four and below here i'll add another button which will be check out let's see so you have that you have the checkout button and you have the continue shopping button also i'll do this here below this this here i'll add a button and in this button i want to do clear cut let's see it's not supposed to be there it's supposed to add it here inside this below the products yeah below the table it's supposed to come and take this Let me see. No. Then paste it here. Then I'll do clear that. You have that. But instead, we can do we can do a link. This link will be clear cut. Then I'll import it here. Clear cut. Then in this I'll do an on click event. Let 
let me see one click let me first change it to button then I can do an on click to be clear cut ID let's see shop add Let me see products. I have add to cart. Let me see if we have clear cut. Clear cut. can do this to be a link have an error thing link is a huh? yeah link link is not defined I'm going to import it import link field to load to reload this could due to a syntax error let's see add to cards see if it works it cleared the cut so now i want to do this if let me do this first let me copy cut this this section and then i want to add a function here that is if the total amount is greater than zero we are going to do this if it's if it's greater than zero we do that otherwise we are going to display this section let's see This section is going to be 12 a padding of 3. I'm going to give a container. And then we're going to do a row. I'm going to do a text center. And here we're going to say we're going to do a h3 which says you are cut is empty let's see we have it there your cut is empty so in case we add items to cut it shows us this but if the cut is empty it says your cut is empty you can add a tag and then you can say click here to add items so but this add items 
you can add it in a link and then this link can lead us to to shop let's see can do this so let's see refresh click here to add items yeah so if we add items we can see that we have that but in this clear cut i can do text to be center yeah that's better and then you can do a padding of three so if we clear cut it's working add to cut yeah that's better so the next thing we're going to do here is to make sure that anytime my view details it shows me the details of this product and also i can be able to add to cut from here yeah so we have completely created the shop page and also we have a responsive cut after creating the cut page this cut page i want to add the view product details for each product but first i want to show the user that we have items in the products so to do that i'll come to the product here we had this cut item count so i'll copy this and then i'll open my header and after the this shopping cart inside this span i'll add it here and then i'll come to my in my shop context i have this this function update get total cut product so i'll come to the header and then import it first i can copy this instead copy and then come to the header then paste it here but remove all this and use this function get total cut products copy and then i'll paste it here then i'll create a constant which is total products the total products are going to be that yeah and then i'll import first this shop context shop context and then no not the shop context but the use context and then i'll also import our shop context shop our shop context there we go then i think if i add to cards i'm supposed to come and change this to total products now let's see It's not appearing, don't know why. Mm -hmm. 
we come to the cut then below the this one I can do total product then I can use this copy I want to see if it's working get total cut products get total cut products then you can do total products that was it yeah can do total products refresh have an error console and code selected product is not defined selected product okay let's see let's see added add to cut now you have them as you can see it's showing the total cut product but i want here in the header i want that this total product to be actually dot span no span dot text and then yeah that's better so if i'm in the home page you can see that you have six items in the cart if i add others you can see that they, they are increasing yeah you have that and also you have our total products But this I'll add it in a spawn dot price we have eight items in our product nope Did I do? total total products yeah at least that's better and the canada class eh? of margin y to be two should separate that yeah so i want to let me clear the card come back to the show page every time i click view details i want to be able to see the view details so i'll close this this and this then in my components in my components i'll create a product details dot jsx and then here I had this function which is let me see I like this function here what this function does is that in my product I have 24 products but in this 24 products my first product has an ID of zero so this function i've added here constant product id selected product which is zero if it's either the selected product which is the id from 1 to 23 or if it's zero it's supposed to do this it's supposed to find that product from my array and then post it there so 
let me close this and supposed to commit this first Let's so in my product details this is what i'll do i'll come to the return and i want a section no i'll create another page here for details details dot jsx and then here i'm going to import the product details import the product details and then inside here i'm going to create a sec a section section dot details is going to have a container and also a row a padding of five and then the product details so then come to the shop page and in the view details link where is it supposed to go to the product not that one this one and then i'm supposed to come to the link where we had view details it is and we have the on click which will be the view product details so let's come back and let's see I click view details it's supposed to take me to another page mm, let me come back to the link yeah here i'll do two two and then details and then when i click it it does that let's see I have an error let's see Then your routes match the details. Okay. I'm supposed to create a route for it. Sorry. Component upload JSX. Then first import it. Import details. Then create a route for it. to be details then elements to be details yeah and then that so selected product is now defined where product details the selected product is not defined i'll come back first i'll copy this and then i'll paste it in my details I'll import the use context and also I'll import our functions import shop import shop context Ok, 
can do this so that it imports itself show context no it doesn't do bad i just input it input show context from we have the components and then we have the shop context so let's see now we come and open the shop shop context that is and then what you want here is the selected products and the view close product details so copy then i'll just paste it here we have the selected product yeah no we're not supposed to be importing it here group we are supposed to be importing it here instead Then remove this from here, cut this, and also remove this. Yeah, and then import this one, use context. I see we have the errors. No, don't have any errors. Let's go back, refresh, see, no, let's see, view details, still have an error, console, products is not defined, okay, going to import the arrays, products, and also products one. Now we have that, we have the details section. What you're going to do here is to create uh, two columns. In the first column, I want to have the image on the right side and the other details on the left. So I'll do a display flex and align items to be center and then justify content to be between inside this div i want to have the first div in this div i'll have the image and here we'll use the image which i'm supposed to also import this copy then paste it below here then do props then here i'll do the key to be id so let if I open this, it shows the have an error. Console saying that cannot destructure ID of props that data as it is undefined. Okay, we can do can remove that. 
Let's so remove this and this. Then you come here and do product dot image. Yeah, we have that. And le let us see if we if we view another details, it's showing the yeah. So I want this to be class name to be column six. I want this to have a class name of img to be fluid and then that's better a padding of thing three we can do padding of five least that's better and then we'll do another column six in this column six we will start with a h5 in this h5 we'll have a product dot name let's see yeah we have that and then we'll have a P, which will be let me see add this in my no here let's see home shop shop page then you can view details have the brand name okay let me do card here shop new details we have that there then you can also do card and then We'll take this and put it here span. Then we do then we can do products dot brand then here we can do the P and then we can do products dot price but here we can add a dollar sign let's see and then we can We can say first we add a strike and then we do product dot price then multiply it by two let's see and then here can do that and bsp let's see yeah and then you can say force and then hopper here we say now force yeah we give this a class name of text to be read and then this one price we can add it in a span and give it that and paste it here yeah so we have was 
that now that so let's remove this first and also the display flex actually the whole div whole class name oh, you actually need it and then flex yeah and then you can come here and then do p and you can do a lorem to show the product details don't know why this one is taking all that Peter goes okay you can add this into a it card details yeah and then inside all this we can give them a padding of four and paste them there and then we can below here we can do this part we can put these two and also the coupon so welcome to the card items here yeah. then we'll just copy this button which is the input copy and then paste it in the product details yeah Let's view details. Uh -huh. We can come here and do add to cart. What else? Update cart. Um, update cart item amount. Update item cart item amount, and then also you can do remove to cart remove cuts let's see now you're getting the error let's see id is not defined okay instead we'll do the everywhere we'll do the product dot id product dot id now let's see now you have that then you can add the coupon section this one copy then paste it Let it that field. Let's see, we have the coupon section. You can give it a padding of four. Yeah, and then what else? What else?
will come and style each one of this class name we are going to give it a margin y of 3 and also here class name margin y of 3 also the text class name of margin bottom of 3 you see I have that and then I want to increase this So I'll first come here and change this dot cut item button copy and then you can do product details and then you can add it here which class did we give this dot details yeah put details padding to be 12 pixels twelve pixels ten pixels Let's see. and then you can also style the dots details input we can give the input uh, a width of 100 pixels width of 100 pixels let's see yeah that's better and then align items center You have that why is that not working let me see remove to cut product dot id dot id yeah so let me see we have that okay so you have the details of the the brand the title but you can increase the title to be at least a hit three yeah and then we can now close which one this also the input so I want to create a, another div here this and below it will be dot card footer let's see i have that and then it's going to be a h3 dot price and we are going to give it a margin y of two of three then do more products of the same let's see then you can do text center then here i want to add some products in this product you're going to get them from our featured product and we are going to do this copy then come back here and paste them here
but we are not going to give them any of the details so we just have the image and maybe some we're going to have the image and maybe the name of the product so i'm going to remove this and then i'm going to remove all of this yeah i don't think i need that let me see class name dot footer div p And then see. Did you do want a JSX fragment? Wait. Let's have that error. You don't want the don't want this brand. And I also don't want I also don't want this so I remove it let's see we have the and maybe we don't need the title later so just remove the card details so let's see we have the images and then we can copy this the same and then put it here but do product one yeah we have that more products of the same i don't want that shows can do four Let's see. I think four to eight. Four to seven. Then here in this row we can do two to seven. which can just select that more products of the same then i think we are done with this part you can give it a padding not like the whole thing but the this one padding of three yeah so now we have created the view details section and as you can see if we come to the show page and then i view details of different products you can see that it's showing the exact image of the product if i view this we have that and we can add it to cut we can remove it from the cut and then We can also view another item and you can see it's changing and you can also add to cart so by doing that we have finished creating our shop page our view details section our add to cart and also our cart page so in our next video we'll be creating the blog page about page and the contact page all of them will be creating them in one single video and then we'll also be create a, an account page then we'll be able to check out and also continue shopping so that's enough for this video i'll see you in the next one make sure you like the video hit the subscribe button and i'll show you in the next one Bye.